All right, want to give our praise on the glory to Yahweh Bashim Mashah Bashim Kakodash. Want to give the honors to Pastor Jim Master Roswell. Peace, bless and salutations to Yakimate, but to both his truth and sincerity. Uh, one moment. All right. So we have a video here by uh, this is a uh, Red Pill channel. Go, guy goes by Book of Alphoronomy. And uh, pretty much it's going to bring so some scriptures to it because we are living in a adulterous generation. You know, this uh, whole notion of, you know, men can just think with their rods, you know, there's no discipline, no order. Just, you know, I don't care if such and such, I don't care about being a side dude. I don't care, you know, I got to get my rocks off. And all this, you know, women can just sleep around, be married. It just, it's, it's too much, you know. It, it's a, And it's just getting out of hand, you know. It's, it's that, yo, you know, when you go out amongst your society, you may go to a lounge or something like that, go to a grocery store, you see a woman. It should be so easy, just, you know, you speak. You get to know a woman, boom. You realize, yo, I, I'm feeling shorty. Maybe I want to deal with her. Boom. Lay down with her. She give you the box and, you know, y'all come together. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. It's, it's just, yo, this society is completely out of order. Again, you have a chick you can build from basically from nothing. Make her, you know, make her into something, take care of her, do, you know, be a man, provide, you know, uh, do what you got to do. Again, you can be you can be alpha, sigma. You, you can be a goddamn beta. Um, you know, nice car. You know, uh, six packs over six feet. You know, uh, a large rod, but a woman is still mess around on you. And this is the society because you got niggas that are side dudes, that enjoy. That's how low niggas are. And that's how low of, of, of a nation we have, we have become. You know, because these men are so deprived and these men are just loose. These niggas just, they're, they're out of hand. They're lost. These niggas, they have, you know, their image has been destroyed as a man that these niggas are just, they just cut through complete niggas. And see, you being a Hebrew Israelite, waking up to this truth, you'll see, man, what the fuck? Here it is, I'm, 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 you know, I'm chasing to get a crown, and I'm in, and, and I'm going to put a title on me, I'm a, I'm a side nigga? Get the fuck out of here. This life, for instance, uh, you know, if I go out, you know, I see a woman, you know, I ask them, like, yo, you, get, you talking to anybody, you got to do whatever, you married? They'd be like, yeah, so I mean, first thing, you know, is I tell them straight up, you know, I don't mess with a man's possession. You know, I don't talk to another, you know, that's basically what I say, you know, I don't talk to a man's possession. Then I walk off and I leave it just like that. And I, and I even heard women be like, what you mean, my man's possession? And I don't, I don't go into it. I don't explain it. I just walk off. I tell her, yo, you have a nice day. And, um, you know, this so eager to sit on the bench, wait for a girl, you know, um, slide a little bunch of sweet nothings and these bitches, uh, plat, you know, DM, whatever, you know, basically giving her attention to this whole thing, a lost man's treasures, another, uh, one man's paint one woman some one man's trash is another man's place something like that to that extent i forgot the saying but yeah basically what it was you know this dude right here you see on the on the on the screen he he was basically happy he was a side dude side nigga and then eventually what happened you know he was messing with a married woman and I mean, God damn, Jake. Jake has no dignity, no integrity. And pretty much, he, you know, he... 
<laughs> nigga face. You know what? Uh, video, you, you know, both can watch it, but pretty much, uh, he said the you know the husband. You know, told the to dude stop coming around, and leave his woman alone. So eventually, what happened? He shot. He shot him, or he shot shot him in his eyes, and he lost. He's permanently um, blind. You know, and, uh, and you know, in this dead time, the time that we're living in. There you go. The time that we're living in. She, well, a chick like this on the right, well, all of them, there's no repercussions. You know, here it is, the dudes that are in their right mind. Matter of fact, let me see. Man, that is jealous of his wife. Let me see. Well, you got the um, the law. If a man is jealous, you know he will go, and, and it's it, uh pr pretty much basically the bitter thigh rot. Um, po potion. Sort of, if I'm not mis mis um, mistaken, that's uh, that's what it's talking about on this one. I'm trying to find the one. Yeah, here, here it is, right here. Um. Proverbs six. Hold on. Damn it. Here, here, here we go. Um, be real quick. All right, Proverbs six and thirty-four. It says, "For jealousy is a rage of a man; therefore, he will not spare in the day." Oh, let me see. Here it is. Matter of fact, oh, that's the spirit. Because uh, I actually got this scripture lined up. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, verse 32. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding, he that doeth, doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So here it is now, this guy, which you saw on the screen with the beard, looking like a straight creep. <laughs> he don't have no eyesight no more. But sadly, even the guy, the so like even the woman's so-called husband, now he's behind. You know, which the video said he, he 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 you know pretty much he's behind behind bars. But it says the wound and dishonor shall he get. There you go, a wound. So hey, that bullet, that gunshot that he had was a wound and he lost his eyesight so here it is hey what what do the scripture talks about oh my god hold on hold on, hold on. bear with me about lust shall not look at a man's woman no that's not it um yeah it's, uh Sirach 9 9 9 Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thy arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and though, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. And that's what happened to the guy. Um, it's an, it was another. Oh, behold, behold, not a man's woman. Bear with me, Akio. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't, um, be having nothing lined up. Um, let me see. Damn it. Um.
Surat Nan. Oh, well, damn, that was, that was the one before. Surat. It says, uh, turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For herewith love is kindled as a fire. And then it, it, this video goes on it. Um, to show you that pretty much, uh, you know, he, he fell in love with this with this whore, and look what happened, you know. And my thing is, you know, wow, if a woman, if a if this if this chick is able to mess around with you and she has a dude, how can you trust something like that? And how? Do, how you think she'll look at you as a bench woman, as a side nigga? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I actually had a situation like this happen. It was this chick that was went to the gym, and you know she would look at me, and I would look at her. But I, ain't, I never said nothing until one day we was at the gas gas station. You know we spoke. Then all of a sudden I got a friend request. Then. You know, I, I you know I asked her question like, yo, da da da, what's up? Boom boom. And so I come to find out she has a dude, a man, and I'm sitting there like, and she sat there and told me like, yo, and she and she shorty was driving a nice car, well, a two do a two door Corvette Camaro, so to speak. And I'm sitting there like, yo, <laughs> and, you know, he, she, she, you know, trying to. Saying he older, da da da, this and that. But not he wasn't even that older. And um So I'm sitting there telling myself I'm talking I'm telling myself it's cause she kept I'm like, yo, I don't talk to married woman, you know, I'm I'm out, whatever. And she kept urging. I'm sitting there like, yo, this this dude willing and got y'all two matching cars, two doors. And you wanna mess with me? I'm saying, my bitch, I I wouldn't even, I'm, bitch, I I wouldn't even bought you nothing, man. I'm saying to myself like, I couldn't even get you that, or I wouldn't even get you that. I, you know, you know, fuck, you need a something. My point is, I'm saying it like, yo, if that woman could stoop that low, and a man would do that for her. How, why why am I, my right mind would I think about even dealing with a chick like that? That's my point, you know? And that's how these women are. These women, yo, it, 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 the world we live in is very fucking wicked, man. You know? Um, Again, um, turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman for... Here with love is kind of as a fire. And another incident I um I can recall, I was went to this lounge where my sister performs. You know, this girl was looking at me. I was like, yo, I'm like, yo, she I gotta say something. You know, she's dead all in my damn face. So, you know, approached her. And um yeah, she held up a ring. I'm married, that I said, oh, okay, you can say no more. I don't mess with no, you know, man's possession. You have a nice day. Every time I walk by, she would look at me, gaze at me, you know, stare at me. And then I saw her, she was, she was about to leave, and then she walked past me. And, and as soon as she, you know, got, like, walking past me, she slowed down, basically to the point where she was damn near, like, Instead of, you know, it takes a second to walk past somebody. It took this broad, like, you can count like a whole 30 seconds to walk by. But pretty much what she was saying, what she was doing, she really wanted me to, like, press her, you know, say something to her. So, I'm, you know, I'm saying, I'm, I'm looking like, yo, look at this chick. I, was, I told her, like, yo, you have a nice day, man, you know? And then she just walked off. And I'm sitting there like, yo, these these women, this is an, an, an adulterous generation, you know? Um, 
think I just bought this. Yeah, I just bought this one out. Hold on real quick. No, no, no. Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, again, at the video, the dude uh, went and, sh you know, shot the dude. He lost his eyesight. Uh, it says, uh, a wound. Let me see what I can. But jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in a day of, ven of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he. Yeah, wound and dislike, a wound and dishonor shall be shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. But jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in a day of vengeance. Because men are territorial. And that's what these women don't understand. <laughs> but their days is coming. He said he will not regard any ransom. So if that nigga came up like, yo, here, here you go, a million dollars, my man. That nigga, he, he don't care. You know, yo, this is it's, it's some, this is something serious. This is nothing that, and even, I mean, it's crazy as hell because we, literally we're telling guys that got women that, you know, that, 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 that's fuck around, fucking around on them. Pretty much what you're doing is you're really becoming cold out here. And you, you're not thinking with your emotions, you know, pretty much what you, you know, the law is anybody that committed for adultery shall be put to fucking death. So, you know, really we're going against order not doing it, but we can't do it. So pretty much the point is, what we're, you know, what we're telling brothers that's in this truth and, and, and that is waking up that, you know, you got to accept, you got to be cold, man. You, you can't, you can't let that. You know, you know, pretty pretty much bug you out. It is what it is. You know, the Lord gonna destroy that bitch or whatever. You know, but in the days is coming where these women are going to get their fucking judgment. It's a neither way he rest content. Thou, though thou givest many gifts, so until he seeketh your life, that man's not gonna be satisfied. That who slept with his woman. And it says, uh, Matthew 16 and 4, a wicked and dark generation seek about their son, and there shall, sign, no, be, son, there shall no sign be given unto it. And uh, that's pretty, you know, and this is the, um, matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, verse two, Matthew 16 and 3. And, and in the morning it will be foul whether to say, whether to day, for the sky is red and lowing, O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generous, gener generation seeketh after a sign. And this is the time that we're living in, man. You know, we, you know, even though we even, and it's crazy because we're living in times where even though we're making videos like this, niggas still will ask questions like, yo, what you mean, da-da-da, and this and that. They're, they're, you know, it's all... We living in a time where oh these wicked ass niggas is, is constantly looking for excuses and 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 and, and uh, blame the blame game to weed out of judgment. I mean yeah judgment and weed and weed out of uh, accountability. You know we living in those times. Jake don't want to you know turn back or take heed to the law, uh, uh, statutes and commandments. Jake want to do whatever the fuck they they want to do. Jake is gone. Jake is through. There's no order. Is is no is no type of. Uh, there's no moral, there's no standard amongst Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, Hispanics. That's why the Lord eventually is just going to destroy this place. Because you've been seduced by your daddy Esau. Um, got that. Um, let me see. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. <laughs> know ye not that the unrighteous, righteous, sorry. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adul adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Exactly. The point is, there's not going to be no adulterers, you know? Men that sleep with men's, other men's women, and women that that could, um, sleep with other men while married to a man. Um, Psalms 141 and 10, it said, Let the wicked fall into their own nets. Whilst that I withal escape. So, again, the, the 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 these videos are going out left and right. So Jake has it's no more cloak for for um for for Jake to sin. There's no more cloak. You know what adultery is. Now. It's not um what poor Chuck Pastor told you. You know, I don't even think shit. No, nah. they taught you uh 
pretty much basically what they said, which was, was the further uh, Esau's uh, monogamy, was if a man, pretty much what they say, if a man mess around on his woman, he cheating. And, and it, uh, basically that's what what pork chop pastor taught our people. If a man do something, he you know, he cheating, you know? No, it, it, a man is committing adultery if he layeth with another man's woman. That's why the scripture talks about um, when Yahusha even said it. He said, uh, when a man looks at another man's woman and thinks even thinks about it, he even reiterated, he said he even thinks about it, he has committed adultery. So this is very important, you know, that you do not look with lust and you control your eyes, you control your flesh, man, you know. Because what happened? You you you, you keep thinking you know that back door is safe to c keep coming in, and that goddamn window, so to speak, is safe. But hey, hey, okay, you escape it sometimes through the through the regular eyes of, of people. But yeah, yeah. But ultimately, Yahweh Yahweh Shah is looking. So it's gonna be one day, one day, one fucking day, one day. You are gonna have it that 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 man. Come home and find out something may happen that he he finds out, and here it is that gun. I mean that guy has has a shotgun that's waiting on you, or whatever. And he blow your ass away, man. Actually, um, knew about a couple of situations like that that happened out here in Richmond. Dudes uh come to find out his woman messing around with a dude, and, and man they like like that like they like that nigga with 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 with, hold, with bullets, man. You know, and rightfully so. But Esau being so fucking wicked, you know, they, they go on and lock the lock um these dudes up. Which they're not wrong. You're not off. That's a that's supposed to happen. But we see we live underneath a wicked ruler, which are the so called white people, the Edomites who enable all this. So, and I'm gonna end it with this one. Hebrews ten and twenty six for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, and what's the truth? These laws, statute, commandments yeah, these laws, statutes, and these commandments. Because again, like I, like um, like the scripture said, this truth is being pushed on the four corners. Can't nobody not can't nobody say that they have not heard about this truth. This truth is spreading like a like a wildfire, and um, is no more cloak for for Jake's sins. So it says there remain no more sacrifice for sin. So, like I said, P Pastor Pork Chop is being exposed. Um. A lot of people are, are leaving the church by the drones, so it's showing you that uh, pastor ain't had ain't had the right doctrine. He 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 didn't he he ain't got it, cause again, Christianity has everybody know knows what Christianity is, but we still here and things are getting more worse, you know. So it is what it is, you know. You Jake's that are caught up in um, um, committing adultery, doing shit like this, hey. When your times come, hey, that's good for you. There's actually no jakes in the world. And, I, you know, they talk that dumb ass shit. I'd be like, yo, listen, you better stop doing that shit, man, you know? And that's why, I, you know, it's really, you know, we live in those times where it's kind of, it's hard for me, me personally, to really deal with jake that's in the world. You know, you know, ah. I done got to the point now pretty much, man. I don't, I don't really do too much unless I'm going out with bros, man, you know? But other than that, hey, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Hey, Lord willing, I was edified. Let me tell you something.